in scientific uh, literature, they term it the standard Western diet. It tends to be one that actually isn't good for the immune system. It pr promotes inflammation. It causes inflammation at a really, really low level that actually depletes and drains the immune system on the longer term. You know, we're thinking like more like low in fiber, quite low in colors, quite low in variety, actually, in diversity, pretty high in like your starchy carbohydrates like breads and pastas quite high in meats as well. And then, of course, you've got the processed foods that are like pre-made in factories and a lot of the ingredients are not even recognisable things. The issue with the immune system is that these foods contain more like the chemical aspect of food that does directly impact the immune system in a negative way. It causes strain on your liver because your toxic load goes up. So you're eating all of these things and your body has to process it in some way. So it doesn't just think, oh, like I'm going to eliminate all of that because it's not useful in a nutrient way to the body. A lot of that toxicity will get absorbed into your system, even though your body doesn't need it. And then it burdens you. And also, when you've had a lot of food that's been pre-processed, it doesn't carry its own digestive enzymes with it. So like when you're eating plant foods and particularly raw foods, they contain a lot of natural enzymes with them. So you're eating the enzymes as well as the food. If you're having food that's sort of like dead food that's been pre-made and it once was a plant, it once was a, a vegetable, but it's been, you know, treated to such high degrees of temperature and processing that there's just nothing left that's living in that, then it's it's sort of pointless really so you know I think there's convenience foods that are better than others so refined sugar is pretty pro-inflammatory um, it upsets the gut microbiome quite quickly and um, then that can have a secondary impact because it affects things like the short chain fats and the chemicals that all of the gut microbes make they will change significantly when there's a lot of a lot of a sort of a heavy load of sugar in the diet and it just sets you up for an inflammatory state. And, you know, that's not even, you know, really going into what it does to your blood sugar levels and your insulin release from your pancreas and then setting up a different kind of metabolic type of inflammation as well. So, you know, I would say things like unrefined sugars. If you think of like, say, a slice of toast, that's got a lot of sugar in it mashed potato portion that has also got a lot of sugar in it so you know there's a lot of things will break down carbohydrates are made of just you know hundreds of thousands of glucose molecules joined together so it will eventually break down through the digestive process to sugars so um, when people think well I don't have any sugar at all because I don't add three spoons of sugar to my tea actually there's a lot of sugar in the diet that's quite hidden you know like yogurts for example you think oh that's a really healthy dessert or pudding actually a lot of them are quite loaded with sugar and flavorings. So the yogurt is not necessarily a bad food, but what's loaded into it is. Um, and I think the, whilst we're on sugar, we're another feature, if you like, of the Western diet is people are quite, taste buds are conditioned to actually more sugar than we, than we should have. So like the appreciation of the natural sweetness of um, certain types of fruits is completely lost. Um, because, you know, I mean, when I have like an apple crumble, my husband will always laugh because I just won't put sugar in it. Like, but apples are really sweet. You know, you make, you know, you boil up apples with a bit of cinnamon. And if you want it really sweet, I would add like a few drops of vanilla extract and that will do me. But I think that's because I've had quite a clean diet for quite a long time because of my chronic health problems when I was younger. Um, so it's that conditioning that we expect of really intense sweetness um, to satisfy taste buds and that's a bit of a problem as well so there's a lot of behavioral stuff that we're all doing wrong but you know you've just got to look at statistics of things like cancer occurrence in your lifetime and um, things like that that you know the chronic health problems that we have is reflective of our broken immune systems so if something's broken you've got to put a lot of work in to fix it and I think the major issue is people don't realize their immune system is broken until some major event happens in their life and that's the problem so I think probably the most important message really is not that we're all broken but the sort of the standardized western lifestyle around eating and the behavior around eating the food choices and the things that we're conditioned to think are healthy we've kind of got it all wrong there